Hello everybody, welcome to this part 8 of this tutorial dedicated to RQDA. This part will be related to coding in RQDA. It will be the part 1 and the next video will be part 2, which will be related to some more advanced features. What will this tutorial cover? So this tutorial will cover basically everything about codes, the basis of, of uh, making codes. So we'll see how to add codes, delete it, rename it, delete it, also uh, doing some memos on code, I mean writing some memos. Also a special feature will be uh, how to make some annotation and the most important feature is how to mark and unmark the codes. So let's start to open um, RQDA software. Here we are. Okay, so as you can see, uh, here is the file. On the last video, we saw uh, how to use it. And now we'll see everything related to the codes. At the beginning, everything is empty for sure. So we'll just add our first code. So just remember, a code is like I showed you on the first video of this tutorial, is like a highlighter. Um, so just understand that a code is a highlighter. That's just what I want to say if you're not really familiar with the specific language. So let's add the first code. Uh, by the way, actually, I have uh, many screens on my computers. But if you just have uh, one screen, uh, this window come up, uh, will come up directly uh, on the same screen. But uh, I, al I always have to, to move the, the window because it's coming on the other screen. So whatever just to tell you that uh, it will it will come quickly. So now you have to enter the name of the code. Um, once again, I suggest you not to making uh, entering space. Uh, usually even if you enter space, it's working, but I think it's quite a good habit to 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 use some uh, instead to using some space to use some underscores or some basic, uh, some basic other characters, or even uh, like uh, to to write. I don't know if you want to write, uh, um, let's say, social network. To write it like this, or like this, or like this. But I wouldn't do it because it's just a kind of personal habit. And also, I wouldn't recommend you to write some uh, accent characters, such as uh, the French one and other characters. Uh, even if you if you do it, it should work. I, I've already tried it, but uh, this is just my, my own personal opinion about uh, how uh, we should uh, rename and write some files and codes on uh, on computing, but anyway, just do uh, your own way. So let's enter the first one, and we yeah, okay. Let's enter just social network and press on OK. So here you see that I've entered the code. If I click two times on it, I have a message telling me that I have no code associated, uh, no coding associated with this code. And now we'll try to open uh, one of those files. So I will just open the first file and let's uh, do our first code. So to do it, it's very simple. You just need to select the text. So let's say we want to say that everything uh, here is related to social network. So first, you just need to underline the related text. And second, you have to uh, click on mark. And here you see that the code has been created on this text. And now we'll do the same with uh, the other files. And what is uh, obvious is that here I decided to take some fake text. As you can see, it's just a lorem ipsum text and basically it means nothing. But uh, when you will uh, do your work for real, uh, if you underline uh, something that is called a uh, social network, this will really be related to social network. But I decided to, to take some fake text because what I wish is just to focus on how this software is working 
and not focusing on the real meaning of a text. So this was just my my personal opinion about how to do this tutorial. So let's say that this one is social network. So we'll just mark it as social network. And for example, let's say that this one is social network. But actually, let's say that, uh, as you can see, uh, the sentence begins here. So I, I did a mistake and I, I, I write it like social network, but this was actually not related to social network. So in this case, as you can see on the software, we don't have something to go back, but it's not really a big issue because we just do it like this. So we will just first click on the on the right text. So on this one, because we did the mistake here and we will, after we clicked here. So basically you just need to click one time here. Uh, you can click uh, uh, here, 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 anyway, uh, anywhere where the, the blue is and then you just click on unmark and you see that it has been unmarked. And now let's say that the real social networks begins here and ends here. So we just write marks. Uh, after, uh, let's say we can make another code related to Twitter. So we have to enter the name and I will write a uh, Twitter and OK. And actually, uh, yeah, I've done a mistake because I think that Twitter has got two T. So it's OK. We just click on rename. And now we add a second T. So you can see to rename a code is very easy. And uh, we add just some random code. Anyway, just write something. And let's say that this was a mistake and I want to delete it. So just press on delete. And then he's asking you, are you sure? Do you really want to delete it? I say, yeah, okay, I'm sure. And then I deleted. So as you can see, it's uh, in my opinion, quite uh, a simple GUI application to use. And uh, uh, you, you just basically every time opens the, the, the folder and then use coding. So let's say that uh, uh, this text uh, is related to Twitter. So I just mark and now I, as I can see it's written Twitter. Let's open the second file and on the second file let's also attribute some Twitter. Let's say that this is related to Twitter. And as you can see this is related to Twitter. And now we'll just see how to retrieve code. So to, to make code retrieval, it's very easy. You have two choices. The first one is to press on this button. And after, you can see that the software gives me only the files in which we underline the, the, the code Twitter. As you can see, you even have a small information here to retrieve coding Twitter from two files. So basically I have two files and two uh, Twitter uh, codings. And you have some, uh, this is the name of the file. So as you can see, this is the name of the file. So the first file doesn't have any codes about Twitter. I will just open the first file. And just to show you that it's working, I will code it as Twitter. So Twitter and Mark. And now I will do the same, click two times on Twitter. And now you see that I really have one more file, so three files related to Twitter. Every time you've got some, uh, maybe some strange information. And what does this one means? So this one means that uh, it, uh, the, this text uh, here begins at the character number 1670 and ends at the character 2112. So if I, and if I want to see where this text is exactly located, I just click here on back and a new windows open. And I can see that my text is on the line in blue and it's beginning here from here. So this means basically that the character, uh, th th this first A, is basically the character 
1670 and the last point here it's basically the character 2112 and this is just a information to tell you where is actually uh, this text located and exactly the same one happened for this one and for this one now uh, I said that you can just press on codings but for sure as you can guess you can press two times uh, with the mouse you just click one two times and then the window opens so in my opinion I really prefer to click two times here but you can also use the codings which is here um, now as you can guess there is some memos and this is memos related to the code so don't confuse there is one memo related to the project so this is general information about a project and after you have memo related to the files and this is only if you write a memo for the second file the memo is not concerning the global project is just concerning these files and the same happened for the codes so let's say that uh, this is a memo related to social network so I just open the memo and I write some information uh, this is a memo related to social network so a memo is just like a post-it like a note if you want and then when you write something you just save it and you close and now if I go again here and open a windows open and shows this is a memo related to social network so this is working fine and once again in this video I'm not telling you exactly what kind of memo you should write because I guess uh, according to the project you are working for your memo would be quite different I'm just focusing on how this software is working so that's basically all I'm doing on this tutorial. Uh, if you want to have some more information about Memo's techniques, uh, you have uh, maybe uh, you can do some research on Google, or even if you are in a university or somewhere, you have got some uh, some some special databases which are non-free databases. And uh, if you if you do some some good research, you can find some good articles scientific articles about uh, how to use memos technique etc etc so it may be uh, quite uh, useful the last uh, fact that we didn't see is the annotation so now I will just try to do a annotation so to do it I will open the second file and usually a annotation is to do um, to make an annotation about inside this text so it's quite different from a memo uh, personally speaking I use annotation when I have some complicated words so for instance let's suppose that this word is a complicated word and I won't remember what is the meaning of this word so I just press on annotation here and then a new windows opens and I will say uh, Google again uh, means that uh, na 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 na. You can just write some annotation, and then you write, you press on save annotation. And as you can see here, this word is annotated. And after, if you want to check what you annotated, you just go here and with the mouse you press on one time on annotation, and then a new windows open and this windows tell you what you did annotated uh, in my opinion it's uh, quite uh, useful uh, to, 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 to do a annotation about uh, this is just my opinion for sure to, 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 to explain what a word means but this is just a annotation about one specific part of a file so don't confuse about the files memo the code memo and the annotation annotation is just one very specific part of your text and this is not a coding because uh, uh, you can you can make coding about social networks about Twitter about everything but you cannot make a coding about definition because if you do a coding which tells definition 
I mean, it will not explain what the word you underline is. But if you do an annotation, then you can really write something like that. So if you need to, to do some annotation like this, this may be useful. And after, in the later video, when we will see the, the special uh, queries, so the, the, the SQLite queries, because I will do a video about it, I will show you that there is a special table uh, that will uh, show you all the annotation you did. So we will see later how this is working. I think in this video I covered uh, everything. I tell you how to make an annotation, how to add a code to delete, how to retrieve codes, just pressing two times here or on this button, how to rename a code, how to do a memo code, how to mark and how to unmark a code. So I invite you to check the next video to see some more advanced features. 